Have everything okay, set it out down.
Hi. Hi to people. We're going live soon at 7.15. That's in six minutes. Hi. Oh. It's <laughs> lagging. There's always like a 20 second delay. So. Oh, that's confusing. So do you hear yourself in the back? Usually they don't have the audio on. But when they do, like when we're setting up, it's like weird. Also the first week Sarah and Natalie tried to paint in the next room and it was really confusing because the video was 20 oh, seconds later than what I was saying. Yeah, that that <laughs> <laughs> We're like, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah. He's got it. He's fixing it for us. Okay. Thanks, Al. Oh, Tyler says hi from Maine. Hi from Seattle. My mom says hi from California. Hi, mom. Leah, was that right? Really Leah? Yeah. Okay, Leah and Kirby. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So for these mountains, I just did true blue and black, but I also brought juniper green if you guys wanted to do this what color instead. From Seattle. I said hi to Raven. Hello. Raven, hello. Raven Rachel? Is actually a calligraphy artist, if you didn't know that. She is? Yeah. Raven yep. does calligraphy? Uh -huh. She should come teach us how to do, she should come do a class here for sure. Raven. Oh, Jessica, I miss you too. Michael's on. Michael. Michael Craig. Wow, really popular today. That's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're kind of a big deal. I'm going to put that there. It's like a greener blue. Okay, if you use it, I'll use it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you use it, I'll use it. Just different colors. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. That's all right. It's just paint, right? Just make sure that we have it. If I start switching cams or something, you have to it. And just keep paying attention to that. Make sure it doesn't. Oh, you want me to just. Oh, Michael is in Cameron. Hello from exotic Cameron, Missouri. <laughs> I think you took the girls to Taco Bell. That's where, that's where we came from. Cameron. 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 Oh. Wow. That painting looking dreamy. This painting? Yeah. Is looking what? Dreamy. Oh yeah, it is. It is a yeah. dreamy painting. How, 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 how That's literally how, how I feel right now. now. What? Uh. <laughs> It's kind of the worst when we have a lot of time before, though, because you're just sitting there, like, yeah, I feel weird. Like, sorry to meet you, like, eh. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Usually a dance. Dance. I'm ready to get my paint on too. Jessica, what did I eat for lunch today? For lunch. I had McDonald's. <laughs> so did I. Yeah, McChicken. Yeah. Oh. A parfait and a fry. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Brushes that we're using tonight are the Three. round 10 and the fan. That's it. Oh, good, Raven. Oh. Yeah, hit the display button. Da. Da. What time is it? 7.13. Oh, two, two minutes. minutes. Two minutes. Countdown. Turn down my brightness so my phone oh, doesn't die. I. Yeah. And it's a viewer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Well, then you can read the comments. Yeah, and then I'm like, hey, more one more viewer up. We're good. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put that down. Should we put ours on there, too? No, you can have it on the okay. table. It's fine. Okay. I mean, don't, like, text during it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Just kidding. Are we ready? You think we're ready? I think we're ready. I'm ready. I'm really Wait, is it 7.15? It's 714. I think that's good, right? Countdown. Yeah. I, I feel like people will, will be I'll okay. My chair. Yeah, get comfy. We're going to be here for a bit. Same shoes. Here, you can, like, kick my purse out. No, you're good. I have those same shoes. They're the best. Mine are literally falling apart, <laughs> but I just love them so much. They're Hawaiian sandals. Nice. These. I hope Brandy sees this. <laughs> she thinks We're ready. Mine. <laughs> Hello. Wait. What camera am I at? You are on this camera. Right this now. one. Yep. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Make Art. Today we are painting this beautiful monochromatic mountainscape right here. Ta-da! So let's introduce everybody before we do our warm-ups and stuff. So that's you guys too. All right, we're coming. Yep. We are coming. Okay. Jake, it's doing camera work, as always. Awesome. Ooh, yes, good, good exit. Good exit. <laughs> we have, whoa, 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 I gotta introduce you first, hold on. Jake's introduction was my introduction. No, 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 you're your own person. Okay, this is Kirby, she's painting with us tonight too, I'm really excited. I'm Sarah Cray, hello. This is Leah, she's Hi. painting with us. And Noah is doing camera work. Hi. Hello. So welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here and joining us. And uh, you guys ready? Ready. Okay, let's do our oath first. Okay. Okay, raise your right hand. That's you too, no, yep. And repeat after me. I promise to have fun tonight. I promise to have fun tonight. I promise to let loose. I promise to let loose. And I promise to be kind to myself. I promise to be kind to myself. Okay, yay. Good job. Now let's do our warm up. So uh, monochromatic means one color. So for this, I cheated to make navy, but you can just use one paint color if you want. Um, but I'm using black and true blue to mix to get this pretty navy here. Um, so that's what I'm, what we're working with today. And our brushes are the round 10, and then our fan brush for our tree textures. So that's it. That's all the brushes we're using today. So let's warm up. So grab your 10. I mean, I guess you, no, don't use your fan for this. Grab your 10. And um, we're gonna work on different value washes. So usually we do our dark, dark to light, right? That's what we do every single week or I warm up, but we're not doing this this time because we're actually not using that, te that technique in this painting. So be excited. We're, we're doing different stuff here. So we're gonna do I want a light wash and a medium wash and a dark wash in three different spaces. So to get a lighter wash, you're gonna have mostly water on your brush and just put a little paint on it. And then you're just gonna do like a square. And we just want an even light wash here. Just like that. And to make it even so there's not like a darker spot or a lighter spot, you just go back and forth on it over and over back and forth. And that should even it out and kind of spread it out for you. Very nice. Is that too light? No, that's perfect. Okay. We want it really light. So our first mountain that we're gonna do is a really, really light mountain. So we want it a very soft wash, which means we use a lot of water. So then we'll start by doing a medium wash, which is the same thing except just with a little bit more paint. Happy birthday, Gloria. Yeah. That's exciting. It was my husband's birthday last week and we went to a Royals baseball game. It was so fun. Yep. You might even want to make that one a little yeah. bit darker. That looks great. Yep, and then to make it darker, so if you laid it down and you're like, oh, that's too light, you just grab some more color and just go back and forth. Kind of swoosh it in. And even it out. 
just like that. And then we're going to do the darkest one. So that one is going to be mostly paint to get a nice dark wash. Because these, these are our three mountains. Here's our top mountain here. So this wash is going to be this guy. This wash is going to be here. And this wash is going to be here. That's essentially just all what those mountains are. It's just an even wash in a light, medium, and a dark. Yeah, very nice. Amanda Walker says, Kirby, you guys are finally famous. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this. <laughs> I've been waiting for this so long. You're fa you made it. You're famous. OK. That's really all we're gonna do for our warm-ups right now. Uh, we'll practice some trees, but we're gonna do that while our layers are drying. So uh, let's, uh, let's get to it, shall we? Um, I'm gonna put the reference photo here. Hopefully you, both of you guys can see that. Okay. okay, so I'm going to mix my black with my blue to get my navy. You can use whatever colors you want, but navy is like my go-to color. I just love it very much. Okay, so I have my color, and then I'm pulling some off to the side here. I wanna make sure you can see that. And lightening that up, because this is gonna be my lightest wash. So I'm just kinda adding water to it. Just like that, and if you wanna test it out on a piece of paper before you lay it on, you can. That's pretty good. Okay, so then I'm just gonna draw my first mountain. Now I didn't do an outline for this one because I wanted everybody's mountain shapes to be different. I didn't, I don't want you to rely too heavily on the outlines that I provide. And with the ones that we can get away with not using, then, I'm, then we're not gonna use them. And I know that might sound scary, but I know that you guys are up to it. So I just kind of did, um, you know, basic mountain shapes. You just kind of do um, kind of bumps. So I'd have, I'm gonna start like probably a third down on my paper here. And then I just am going to do my outline first. I like to have kind of a bigger one in the back, just like that. And then I'm gonna spread that out and make an even wash. So this is why it's a good idea to tape down your paper. Sorry, I should have said that at the beginning. But I tape down the papers just because this is a lot of water. And this way it will just keep my paper kind of in its spot. Because this is a lot of water we're adding. So yep. you, just keep adding water. you just keep on adding water. And if you've got to add a little paint to make it even, you do that and you just go back and forth. So I'm going to go down enough to where when I do my next mountainscape, um, it's going to overlap it. So I don't want to stop too early because I don't want any white spaces. So to be safe, I probably went down like two thirds. So yeah, you just want to make it nice and even. Gloria says it's National Cheese Ball Day. It's National Cheese Ball Day. Yeah, I think she was telling Al. Oh. Al, Al, just so you know, it's National Cheese Ball Day. I'm sure he's got like one of those buckets. I'm sure he has a bucket of cheese puffs for sure. Maybe. Yeah, that looks I want great. It more pointy. You want it more pointy? Yes. So, like sharper or? Yeah. Okay, so to make it sharper, mm -hmm. you'll just go kind of go from here. Oh, so we kind of just go from here and kind of straighten that out. Okay, and then on this side too, kind of like that. And I would just follow this line out here. So do another wash right here, so we don't have that in the okay. middle. Is that as pointy as you want yeah. it? Okay. You can even make this even more angular if this is too wavy for you. You can even do a straight line like that if okay. you want. And then we let this guy dry before we do our second layer. Because if we, right now, if we did our second layer right now, it would just start to bleed across and we wouldn't get that nice straight line. So while that's drying, we are going to practice our trees. So I'm gonna switch these out. 
Okay, now we did these same trees when we did our watercolor galaxy. So, and for this, I'm gonna use mostly black with a little bit of blue, because the, the trees are actually going to be our darkest value. You, you see here that these trees are actually darker than this. So, um, and then how I do my trees is I take my 10 and I do the trunk of the tree. I'll try and do it bigger so you guys can see. So I do my trunk, I draw my line, and then I do kind of dashes like off. You can practice the dashes here. But I just do a series of dashes. So you'll notice that I'm not doing this because this is what we want to do, right? We're like, that's a tree, which that is a tree. Okay, that's a tree. But let's make our tree better. So I'm just going to do thin dashes. And then as I go down, I go more to the side like that. So you see how as I'm going out, they're getting a little bit wider because we still want this triangle shape with our tree. So to do that, we'll just have our dashes go out a little bit further as we go down. So I'm kind of using the side of my brush, but still the tip. So I'm not right on top doing dots. I'm on the side doing little dashes. Yep. And let there, it's okay if there is uh, like white space in between um, our dashes here. So it's okay to kind of overlap them, but also if you miss a couple, cause that's true when you see an outline of a tree, the leaves are a small little part, so there's still light coming through the leaves here. So after we get our tree shape, that's when I go back in with my fan brush and I pick up just a little bit of paint on the corner and I use the side of it for just a little bit of texture. Because this is a very thin brush and this brush is specifically meant for foliage. So it just gives us a nice little wispy leaf-like texture. So I'm just kind of going off to the sides here. Still following the same motion of where kind of my dashes are. And so that gives us a very realistic like tree. Now this looks really, I'm gonna put yours over here. Okay. This looks really nice here. I like how we have a narrow top and a wide bottom. If anything, I would say, let there be a little bit more white spaces in the middle. You see how we have these areas here? Cause we want it to be clear that there's still space between the branches and the leaves, but that looks really nice. Yeah, no, yours <laughs> looks great. This looks really great. If anything, I would just narrow up the top a little bit more. Okay. So just go in and do a thin line and just like, just tiny little dashes right at the top and mm -hmm. make that tree top really sharp. All right. Now, if you want to just use your fan brush to do the trees, you can. I'll show you how that looks. So, so I'm just using the corner because this is a pretty big fan brush and our trees aren't going to be that big. So I really just use kind of like the side and I do my tree trunk line, and then I do the same thing. I just don't have as much um, control with this, but it's that same idea of as I go down, I go out, and I just kind of let, and I almost am cross hatching on my way down. Cross hatching is when you go back and forth like this. This is cross hatching. So they're going in two different directions here. We gotta see those close, all right. You can come back over here. So this is me using the fan brush and I'm kind of just going back and forth across my paper. Now this tree is gonna look a little bit more wild. 
here and stay here while I do the other tree. And then I'm gonna show you the other one with the 10 brush a little bit closer. So I do my trunk and then I'm just using the side here to do little dashes. And I know the first few you're gonna be like, this looks funky, just keep going. It looks funny until the very end most of the time, so. So I'm kind of just going back and forth with these dashes. I'm letting some light in between my, my branch sections and in between the little leaves themselves. There's that, and then I, and you can leave your tree just like that if you like that texture look better. Um, or you can just kind of go off and do little, just a little bit of this really nice wispy texture here. Just like that. That's it. Yep, those look really nice. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Okay, mine's pretty dry, so let's do our second layer. So, I'm grabbing my 10. I'm gonna bring a little bit more color into the pile that I already put to the side, because I'm doing a medium wash this time. So it needs to be darker than this one, but not super dark to where we can still go darker. And then on the second mountains, I, I kept it all below the horizon line of this, if that makes sense. So my mountain's not gonna go like this. You can, if you want to, I kept mine lower. So um, I'm just gonna kind of go up here, here. I'm gonna have that go this way instead, like that. And then you just wash it out. And you can also um, change the shape of your mountains in this stage. So for me, it's like, you know what? I don't know if I like that there's two bumps looking like this. So I'm going to um, make this one go up. And then on this wash, I'm gonna keep it going down till probably like two inches above the bottom of my paper. So just keep going back and forth. Try and erase that strong line that we used to draw it out if you can. If you can't, that's not a huge deal. We just don't want a super strong outline on our mountains. Now, if you want a really, so you'll notice on this one that I kind of actually have a lot of watercolor texture drops here, and that's because I went back into it, and I did like one brush stroke here, and then I didn't spread it all the way out, if that makes sense. So if you don't want these watercolor sections here where there's kind of like a spot, then you're gonna wanna take your whole brush and go back and forth across your paper and even it out that way. But if you like, those um, little water blotches of texture, then that's when you'll just go in and be like, there. And just leave that and not blend it out and then that would dry kind of a watercolor texture. But I'm going to try and spread mine out. And you can have your mountains as sharp or as bumpy as you want. I kind of did, I guess they're kind of more bumpy. Just kind of playing with them. I'm just gonna let that go. 
Okay, now while that dries, I'm gonna do a little bit lower down here, just in case. It's always better to go lower than you might think because it would be the worst if we did a mountain right here and then we have this white gap. That's not, we don't want that. So try and go lower than you actually might do. Okay. And while this layer is drying, we're gonna go ahead and put a tiny, tiny bit of shading on our top mountain. Now we don't want a ton because um, the, the interesting thing with this painting, which is what makes it um, like, I don't know, magical in my eyes, is that we're using atmospheric perspective, which is the idea as something gets farther away, um, it loses contrast, so it's not super light and dark, and it actually gets lighter. So if you actually look in landscape paintings, you'll see that a lot, where if there's different levels of ground, like they have a far ground, a middle ground, and a foreground, then the far ground, which is farthest away from us, is going to be really light and not have as much detail as what's close to us. And that is actually how we communicate space in a landscape. So because of that, we're just going to do a little bit of detailing on our back mountain, but not a ton, because if we make it super detailed, then that's gonna bring it to the front, which is not what we wanna do. So take your brush. I'm just gonna probably use the same color that I use, kind of like that medium. And then just on the sides here, so wherever I have a little bump on the side, I'm just gonna do a little dash of a darker value, just like that. Just little, yep, right there is where I would do it, perfect. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do that kinda of on both sides, so they're just gonna be little dashes of color on these little bumpy parts here that are coming out. And then I'm gonna do a little one kind of more in the middle like that. Now if you don't, like let's say you put one down and you're like, I don't like that. Then just, then just brush it out. Erase it. Blend it out. The nice thing about this watercolor is you can really play with it even after it dries. So you can blend stuff out if you're not totally in love with it. Or if it's just too dark or something. So I'm going to do a little more over here. And it doesn't have to be super detailed. We're not we're not going crazy back here. It's just the idea, we're just giving people a slight sense of dimension. So I'm gonna do some over here. Closer here. And I, I would blend like, those, yeah. I would blend those out just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's looking, this is really nice right here. I would blend those out a little bit more too. Yeah, come look at this, Noah. We'll start over here. So she's doing her dimensions here, and these look really nice, but we're just gonna blend them out just a little bit, so I, and I kinda want it to kinda go like down like that. Same kinda thing. So we don't, we don't want it to be look like an outline, so we're, we're totally following mm -hmm. the shape, because the mountain is coming down, mm -hmm. not just on the edge. So I'm just gonna blend these out this way, kinda down, just like that. And I would do maybe a tiny one right here so this area isn't so Okay. Vacant, vacant. Okay, and this looks really nice. I think the shadow she did on this side is really beautiful. Um, I would continue smoothing this one out so we don't have those super rough brush strokes, and I would blend that one out just a little bit too. But I think this one is really nice. I wouldn't touch that one. Now mine, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a little bit more on mine. So when you do these shadows, you don't have to keep with the outline. I don't have to just do this outline ridge here. I kinda want it to come out and down. Okay, I'm gonna blend that one out because I don't love that one. Okay, and then I'm gonna do my third layer. Now mine's pretty dry here. Now you can see I'm, I got a little bit of the watercolor texture right here, but that's okay. I kinda like it, so I'm not worried about it. If you're, so you just kinda test it. That area might be a little bit too wet. So if there's one area that's 
um, too wet, you can't avoid it. You can just try and go around it, or you can just wait a little bit longer. But you guys know Tamika on this ferry? Who? No. She says Cameron in the house. Cameron in the house. You guys can talk here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm like saying these things. You're like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is fun. We're having fun. No. Yeah. I'm yeah. just concentrating. Yeah, we're just focused. Yeah. Okay, so I'm mixing my last layer. This is going to be one of my darker ones. And um, just kind of feel, make sure it's dry. You want to start above where your wash stopped. And I'm just going to kind of do this like that. Just like that, and then you can change the shape if you want to make it a little bit more square on top. And then same thing, just wash it out. Now when I'm filling this one out, I'm not going to shade down, so I'm not going to do this. Because actually how you do your brush strokes while you paint matters. So I'm going to follow the roundness of the mountain, so I'm going to, I'm going to do it this way, if that makes sense. Because mountains are kind of built like that, right? They're more layered. And so that brush stroke, even just doing that brush stroke, I'm like, okay, that feels, I can feel that where if I did this back and forth then that doesn't have the same effect as the, as the roundness. So when you're doing shading or just um, filling stuff in, or especially when you're like um, doing something that's a three-dimensional object like a mountain, you want to make sure that your brush strokes are following that shape. And then I'm going to lighten this at the bottom so that my trees stand out really good. So because of my brush strokes, there's kind of, um, you can see, I don't know if you can even see that on the camera, but which I feel like that kind of shape is more true to mountains where there, it's layers of, of um, rock. So just yeah. paint all this in? Mm -hmm. Paint all of it in and have it be pretty light on the bottom because we're going to put it in our trees. And that kind of gives us like a, like a foggy feel. And I lost the shape over here a little bit, so I'm gonna go back in and make a harder edge here. Just like that. And then kinda blend that out. So right now I'm kind of just playing with my mountaintop shape and making sure it's just kind of how I want it to be. And when you do your brush strokes here, follow that, this shape. So you're kind of like swooping back and forth. Okay. Kind of like we're following the roundness of the mountain. Just like, poo, poo, poo. okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. I would go even darker on this okay. one. Yeah, I would do it dark. So this right here, this lightness down here, that's looking really nice. Let's darken like this area, yeah. Is it too light down here or not? No, I think that's good. I think that's fine. 
If anything, I might blend this area a bit more okay. so it's not such a strong light yeah. and dark. Blend that out right in the middle, but I think the very bottom is fine. Okay, what do you think? I think that's, I would even do one more darker layer. Okay. But I think this value change is really nice. So keep that and just add more. Okay. You might have to get even more paint. Yep. Makes me nervous to go too dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could always lift it out because we're working on such wet okay. areas. We can lift it out, but that that's a really good dark. I would, you would want to keep that dark all the way across. Yep. Okay. So while that dries, we're going to add the same kind of idea that we did on our top mountain, just those little bits of shade of dimension on our second mountain. So um, I'm just gonna kind of go in where there's little bumps and add just a little bit of color and blend it out. Now that was too dark what I just did. That probably was a little bit too dark for me. So I'm just gonna get my brush wet and lift some of that back out and blend it out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you have, I mean, we're in Missouri, so we don't really have a lot of mountains around us. But if you live in a place where there's lots of mountains, like just while you're driving around, just kind of notice them and notice the, the shadowing on them, which is what we're trying to create right now. Because a, a lot of what, what we do in, in art is looking at something in real life and then trying to figure out how to put that down on paper. And so um, just if you're out driving about, even if it's just a hill, just be like, where's the shadow on that hill? I know that sounds funny, but it's what I do all the time. Comes in handy. How far down are we pulling these? So I pulled mine. Like, yeah, that's pretty good. I would even blend it out okay. here and maybe even do one more smaller detail at the top. Okay. Yeah. And over here, no, if you want to look at Kirby's. So this, first of all, I think the color that you got on this top mountain is so gorgeous. I love how there's like a hint of purple yeah. in there. Isn't that pretty? Um, and this, the same thing's happening over here, which is really lovely. I'm just gonna like straighten these out a little bit so they're not super outliney, mm -hmm. just like that. And this I'm gonna pick up because you're getting kind of puddles of water here. Mm -hmm. So you can just use your paintbrush, pick that up, wipe it off and kind of blend it, blend that out. But I think these are looking really nice. Okay. I'm gonna blend that out too. Yeah, beautiful. What do you think? That's looking really good. I would just wait to let that dry okay. and then go in a little bit more. Because okay. what's happening right now is it's just too wet that it's starting okay. to puddle and we're bleeding into this, which is not a big deal after it dries, we can go back over it. Okay. Um, but just wait a minute, let that dry and then you can go back and work some, some more into that. All right. So the bottom of mine is pretty dry. Yours I think is still too wet. Yeah. Yours is probably still too wet. So. Um, I'll just start on my trees, but you want to make sure that this layer is dry before you do it. So if you want to practice your trees a little bit first, the, your trees looked really good, but I want them darker. Yeah, so try too. practicing okay. just using the black. All right. So I'm going to start my trees. Now when I do my trees, I want the edges to be the tallest ones. And then as they go in, they get shorter. So I'm going to get mostly black with a little bit of blue. Make sure I'll push this up so you guys can see. And I'm going to do my tall tree on the side here. Now I don't want it to go over my mountain, so just make sure it stops before the top of your mountain. And then I'm going to start doing my dashes. Now 
know it always looks funky halfway through, so don't get discouraged. Okay, so I have my tree. Then I'm going in with my little fan brush and doing little wispy. Now, you can see here when I first painted, this one is only with the fan brush, this tree right here. But I just didn't love how I lost the dashes in between um, that I get with my 10. So that's why after this one I did 10s and then went in with my fan brush later and um, did more work to them. But this is also your painting. So if you really like how the fan brush trees look or if you're able to get a, a look that you really like from them, then you don't have to listen to what I'm telling you to do. Okay, so there's my tree, go even darker. Water break. Okay, that's good because we can let our stuff dry. I'm gonna go clean our waters. We'll be right back. Water break. You lost your paintbrush? Oh, no. 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 <laughs> paintbrush down. Is it by the sink? Oh my gosh. Yes. This happens every time. It's in the pan. It's in the pan? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at it though. It's all black. Oh, it's really? Oh my gosh. Here, I have paper towel right here. Okay. This one kind of looks like a blob, but it's okay. Okay, so when you do your dashes. Okay, so we're working on our trees. Let me go here. So for your tree, when you do your dashes, you're still using a, a point of your brush too. So it might be a good idea to even practice the different dashes you can get with this brush because there's that, there's that, and this, which is usually what I do. So it's like on the point, but slightly to the side. And as we go down, we go out. So I'm still following the trunk as I go down. So it's like, I go out a little, I come back in, then I go back out, then I come back in, I go down, and I go back out like that and you just kind of follow and you can go back in with a darker color even on top because for for this one it looks like it kind of went more like this yeah so remember to go back in to your trunk so I do my small dashes then I go out and I come back in and I go out and then that's how we're gonna get that kind of um, like, here's a branch, here's a branch, here's a branch. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So these are branches that were coming out too. Okay. Like that. Yeah, that looks really nice. Okay, so let's keep it. Yours feels dry. Yours feels dry. Start over here, I would say. Okay. So you're gonna start with your bigger tree on the side. And then we're gonna do our, and then as we go across, they're just gonna get kind of shorter. Here. Oh, and try, 
that trunk wasn't very straight, but I'm just gonna pretend it was. And you can even make some of your trees look a little bit more um, bare. They don't have to be this, this full. So if I'm doing another tree, here I can do my trunk. And then I can even leave bigger spaces in between my sections of branch. They don't have to be a super full tree every time. And I go in with my fan brush. And do little textures. Should the trees overlap a little bit? Yeah, so, um, what I like to do is I like to do like my first run through of trees, but we don't want them super evenly spaced. If they're too evenly spaced and too symmetrical, then that's like not true to what we would see in nature most of the time. Usually there's layers. So I'll run through, I'll do my first layer of trees and I'll leave um, kind of gaps in between here and there. And then I go back in with a lighter color and see here, so these ones are pretty dark, these ones are light, and then that is what gives us, it's the same idea with the mountains, that's what gives us the idea of space. So by doing that, by doing trees in between in a lighter wash, then in my head I'm like, oh, those trees are farther behind those first ones. So I kind of run through, do random trees here and there, and then after that I'll go through with the lighter wash. So sometimes I like to do a couple trees and then go back and do my textures, but. So are all the trees like lighter in toward the middle? They're not necessarily lighter. We'll go back in and do the ones in between lighter. Oh, that one, my texture got away from me. So I'll just do another tree like right there when I go back to it, so. That's okay, you can mess up a little bit. And then I had my leaves go all the way down to my tape that I have here. Um, I didn't do like the bottom of a tree because then that makes it look like we're looking at the eye level of the bottom of the tree where I want it to be like we're kind of in the sky looking at the trees, if that makes sense. You can move your paper. I'm gonna move mine to the side a little bit as I do this side one here. Sorry, you guys are taped down. <laughs> you can uh, you can walk around yours. <laughs> I taped theirs down to the table so they are stuck there. Oh, it looks like I got mine wet, the reference photo. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in and do my little textures. And just so I can show you guys, I'm gonna do a lighter tree in between these two here so you can see it. So 
I make my mark. I'm going to get a really light wash. To make a wash lighter, you just add water. You pull your tray in just a little bit. So I'm just kind of taking some color and adding water to it. And doing dashes across there. So just by doing this in a lighter wash, it looks farther away. And I'll do another one over here. Kind of in between. Let's do one here. Now you don't have to fill up the entire bottom. If there are little spaces, like I'll probably leave this space here. That's fine. Karen says your paint tray looks like a Star Wars creature. It looks like there's some form of an eye or something. Oh, here? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh my gosh, that does look like a creature. Eye, eye, mouth, right? That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> and it's like coming out and yelling. I was thinking the lower one looked like a big Oh, this one? Or something. Yeah, oh, yeah, that one does look like an eye. Do you guys have creatures coming out of yours? I don't think so. No, not that one. <laughs> I like using the fan brush. Yeah, just, I mean, and, and if you have other brushes at home besides the 10 and the fan, then try those out. I mean, I think I actually, my favorite trees are with the two. Um, but it just, it's all about what you're comfortable with, what works for you, what you feel most comfortable doing. So Oh, uh, they're happy little trees. I had to say that. I forgot to say that when we did the galaxy, and I was so sad. That's Bob Ross, if you guys don't know about. He says happy little trees. We're a fan of Bob Ross over here. So you just keep going and layering. Now here, when you do, so you're gonna start, you want them to start a little bit more narrow at the top. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna go out. Now you have to think of it in terms of like sections. Kind of like that, okay? And then that way, when you go, down, you're following these invisible lines here. And they get wider as they go out, kind of like that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then that just lets a little bit of light in on our edges here. Yeah, there you go. Very nice. That looks really good. Yeah. Now for yours here, come back up here, Noah. So on your trees, like I'm looking at this one here, yeah. and for me that looks like it, um, like it's going out. This. Okay. Yeah. Right. Which isn't just so you know. This isn't bad. This is a great tree. So be happy with this tree. Another way to do it is to do, um, so you're not, your brush strokes actually stay almost the same size as you go down. So they're like little dashes that I kind of overlap mm -hmm. on my way down. Okay. 
and your brush strokes can get a little bit bigger as you go down. But we don't want to do just this like general swoop okay. at the bottom because um, trees have lots of tiny little leaves mm -hmm. and that's kind of what we're trying to communicate with this way is just like there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of little okay. things like that. Trees are not happy if they're one swoop trees. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they're still happy, but just because because the tendency when we do trees is we, we're going to want to do a triangle shape and fill it in with little ridges on the outside, right? We're going to just want to be like yeah. swoop, 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 swoop. And like I said, people can tell this is a tree, so it's okay if you do this. This is a fine tree. But if we want people to believe that there are layers of leaves and branches on our tree and that there's light going through, then that's why we do the dashes because we have these white spaces in between. And we're like, oh, okay, there's light coming through there. It's not just this solid form of swoops. on the shadow tree where should I put them so I would do like right in between I would do a lighter one right here and if it overlaps a little bit that's okay you don't have to try and make it squeeze in there Shadow tree? shadow tree? It's a shadow tree. Oh, it's too blue. <laughs> Mom, Jenny says uh, she can feel like you can see through the camera. <laughs> <Swoops>. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jenny's like, you're calling me out. With one swoop. She really, when we did the trees for the galaxy, though, she really liked her swoopy tree. So if you like your swoop trees, Jenny, keep them. Do what makes you happy. Swoop it out. Swoop it out. I'm going to do my dashes though. That's what makes me happy. I got too much water on this tree. That's fine. Leave it. Okay. Move on to another one and All just right. let that dry. I know. Do you guys have any questions? Anybody? I don't. Out there? Except for mom and the swoops. It's a low key night tonight, I feel, you know? Fun story I used to be afraid of trees when I was a kid. You were afraid of trees? Because <laughs> my sisters told me that animals lived up there and they would, like, humans lived in the trees that would come down and, like, kill you. They would do what? They would like tell. They would come down and like eat you. You know what I mean? Like eat. They told you kids. humans lived in trees. I would come down and. They were tree people. They tree tree people? people. Yes. That's so mean. This was Sarah, and I think maybe Natalie. Sarah, Natalie. I don't see Natalie doing that. Sarah, I see doing that. At least, at least Sarah. <laughs> Shame on you, Sarah and Natalie, making them scared of trees. That's okay. My sister. Uh, told me, I have an older sister, and she told me that um, we had an older, older sister who died and in a car accident, but only my mom and dad told her about this deceased sister because she was, like, the favorite. Oh, so I, like, grew up thinking that we had this whole other sister that wasn't actually alive. So, like, what? <laughs> like, how do I, seriously? She's like, only mom and dad told me about it because they know I can handle it and they love me. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, you mean my parents don't love me and I lost a sister? I didn't know. It was rough. How do I make my daughter not do that to, my, to her little sister? Like, how do I make my kids be nice to each other? That's what I want to know. Oops. That was my phone. <laughs> phone down. 
So the so the lighter ones are less defined. The lighter ones are less defined. We're just keeping those guys really light, okay. not detailed, more general. Mine are a little detailed, but that's okay. It's okay. And I feel like this area over here is just naked, so we're gonna do another one. So it's okay. So this tree is coming real close to these two. That's okay. Trees overlap, you know? They're not in a perfect straight line. Do one off to the side here. And I'm not very good at making my trunk straight tonight. That's okay. Trees grow at angles, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Say yes. yes. Make me feel better. I feel like the only thing we're missing on this low-key art night is a giant thing of cheese balls. You know what I, mean? I feel like if we had a giant thing of cheese balls, it feels like the right thing to do right now. It would be the right thing to do. I have a half-eaten PB and J. <laughs> I thought that was Ezra. <laughs> I just left that. Trip. No, that was my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I almost threw that away. I was like, oh my gosh. Nope, that was me. I was eating right before we came on. Okay. Mm. What's up? You did a mm. Yeah. Oh, leave that alone. Okay. Move on to another one. <laughs> Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, it does. And sometimes when you're not sure when it's done, that's you. sometimes it's just a feeling. Sometimes it's like, you know, this is right. <laughs> this feels good. How can I fix this water line? Just add some more water? Yeah, so out. what you're going to want to do is you'll get a clean brush. We don't want it too wet, but still damp. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to try and spread that out, maybe. Now this might be kind of hard to totally spread out, but we can at least lighten it. Okay. And you just keep on, keep on spreading back and forth. Just like that. And then what I would do when that dries is I would go over this part again to get a stronger edge. Okay. Cause that's probably as light as we're gonna be able to make this without kind of like rubbing off the paper. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I still think that's, that's fine. So when that dries, I mean, if you wanna play with it more, you totally can. But when that dries, redo this line and make okay. it nice and strong. All right. And, and then whenever these trees dry, do when these water, tree, just add some more I stuff. think this one is really beautiful. I wouldn't touch this one. But this one? This one I would just go back in, in this middle part and do a couple more dashes. Okay. And I'm just gonna like make my tree a little bit bigger on this side because, I don't know, it's bothering me how all my trees are the same width. Okay. Okay, I feel, oh. And another thing you can do, if you want, you don't have to do this. I kind of did this last minute in the painting, but I went through and I did a little like light trees on, Slide it down on, the roof on my mountain. Yeah. So I used my really light wash and I just did a couple. Now they're not gonna be big trees like this, right? Cause this mountain's really far away. So the trees would be tiny, but I just did a couple here and there baby little little baby light trees just here and there now if you don't like that look you don't have to do that Randy says Leo's shadow trees look great oh <laughs> your shadow <laughs> trees do look great okay and maybe some here so try and match the wash that we did for it, so we don't want our trees to be like super dark back here, right? We're just doing little. Oh, 
little sections here and there. I'm so in love with the colors you got on your mountains. Those are gorgeous. I like the purple in it. Yeah. It's really nice. How did she even get that? I think she used more of the true blue. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think the true blue has like a purple to it in its, in its wash. Okay, I didn't like the tree I just did, so I'm erasing it. It's amazing. The tree is gone. The tree, gone. Just like that. That's pretty insane. Man. It takes years to grow a tree. <laughs> it takes years to grow a tree. And I just took it down in seconds. Okay, I feel really good about mine. I'm gonna untape it. Yeah. If you're done, let's untape these suckers. Now, um, if you're at home and yours is still pretty wet, you might wanna wait to untape them. Cause if they're still wet and you untape it, then it's going to bend as it dries. Um, mine's pretty dry, so I can take it off. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna this is also one of the most satisfying things is being able to rip the tape off and get like a nice, smooth, straight edge on your painting. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. It's like, that's the best feeling ever. So if you want a really pretty white edge on your paintings, just tape the edges down. And then when it's dry, you just lift them up carefully and you get some really great hard white lines. And it makes it look super professional. Yeah. All right, you guys ready to hold it up? Yeah. Let's do it. Mine kind of has a water line, but it's okay. That's okay. <laughs> oh man, getting super close. <laughs> <laughs> they look so good. Yes, good job, you guys. Yes. Let's clap for each other. I'm so glad. They look really good. Uh, if you paint it tonight, or any time, really. Um, post it, please. People have been posting it on our Facebook comments. I love that, because then everybody can see it too, which is awesome. Or if you post it on Instagram, you can tag us. Our Instagram name is Let's Go Make Art, so you can put that in there. And, um, ha or hashtag Let's Go Make, Let's Make Art, or hashtag Monochrome Mountains is the name of this project. And I have next week's guys are ready. <laughs> the big reveal. reveal. Ta-da! We're doing a B. It's beautiful. I'm excited for that. Yeah, it's so fun. It's not it's that hard. It, I think it's easier than the bunny. So, um, so yeah, that's next week's. And um, if you, we have the kit ready for you if you want to get it right now. Uh, we'll post the link on our comments. Uh, where you can go straight to our website and get the kit for this, uh, for this bee here. So um, I'm really excited. And I think our one last announcement is tonight is the last night to buy May's subscription box. Um, wait, what camera am I at? This one. Um, so we're closing the option to buy May's subscription box tonight because we need to have time to package them and get them to you by May 1st. So if you want to get all of May's projects for $35, you can order it tonight on our website. We're going to be doing ocean waves, a giraffe, oranges, and popsicles. So it's going to be super fun. Popsicles. Yeah. Do you want to see the popsicles? Cause yeah. I have them. Okay. So here are the popsicles we're doing. Oh, that's fun. One of the projects, super fun, just kind of loose uh, watercolor work, and we're bringing salt back into it, which salt is so fun. So um, get that going if you want all of these projects. So everybody's loving the bee. There's a whole bunch of comments. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, the bee is so great. I love bees. 
and this one's lots of fun. So we have the kit ready up um, if you guys want to get that and tune in on Tuesday and we'll be here painting it. So that's it. Yay. Good job.